Hi everyone, welcome back to the Dr. Sia channel. In the video here today, we're going to be talking about yet another defense mechanism called projection of will. Let's get started. Now, projection of will, I think, is one of the most important defense mechanisms to be focusing on early in therapy and throughout, in fact, because it's a very common defense mechanism that I've noticed a lot of people who come to therapy um, uh, engage in unknowingly, and the therapists tend to kind of not focus on it as much as they often need to to help the patient overcome their pathologies. And in that sense, Oh, what did I do? I tore the cord. <laughs> you know, oftentimes uh, how to spot projection of will is the patient comes in and you might ask them, for example, uh, what problem it is that they're having that they want to work on. And they might say things like, I don't know, you tell me. Um, what do you think I should work on? Or, um, oh, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, I, oh, I, I have the problem with depression, for example, and it interferes with my relationships. Uh, but I'm not too sure that I trust that, you know, we can look at that together or, or you know, that, that, that I ought to talk to you about that. Or, you know, it's like, well, are you forgetting that you booked, sat down, sat here in front of me to talk about something that you wanted to talk about? You, you've been wanting to talk to me about this. You're the one who wants to overcome your depression. You're the one who wants to open up, expose yourself so that you may be helped. But all of that is obviously forgotten once the patient's anxiety is so high that they sit down. And now all of a sudden, they're seeing you as an invader into their private space. And they think that they need to keep you at an arm's length to protect themselves against you. And in that moment, in that instant moment, they just side instead with their pathology rather than siding with you so you can have a strong alliance and using that alliance to help the patient get through their depression. So in that sense, if we don't look at projection of will, if we don't mention that to the patient, something similar to what I mentioned here now, or to any setting, really, you could be, you could be doing anything, hairdressing, going out to, to the movies with a friend or whatever. And if you notice that someone is projecting their will, if you don't notice that, if you don't mention that, if you don't kind of say, hey, look, no, no, what you want is important. Or, you know, no, no, let's focus more on what you want. I don't want to get into shoulds and so on and so forth then what you might be doing is that you might be falling into a relationship whereby the patient, the friend, the, the, the client, whatever setting you're in, they might not actually be benefiting from that scenario. So in therapeutic settings, your patient will not benefit from therapy, at least not have long standing meaningful change. If you're allowing them to continuously project their will onto you, it'll be that same kind of directive therapy that they've had before. And they're going to go back and have the same kind of complaints about you in therapy that they've had about all their other therapists that, yeah, I did everything my therapist told me and nothing worked and I didn't get anywhere and I didn't get any better. So by noticing that if a patient is projecting their will and saying that to them, saying that, look, you know, that's not, you know, let's not do that. You're projecting your will, you know, what's happening there, help them see the defense, help them realize how that defense is harmful for them, and then help them turn against that defense. Then you'll have an alliance and then you can move forward on the basis that the patient actually starts having wants in their life. And, and believe me, if they're not having wants with you in therapy, they're not having wants in life. And imagine if you could help a person within a session or two just ha starting to have wants in their life. That would be a phenomenal change for a person, a massive contribution to their wellness. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought and I'll see you again for the next one.